What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shingy. As usual, I am so excited to be making this video because I get to answer a lot of your questions. Like I get a lot of questions about this topic, but unfortunately it's not for my regular subscribers. So if you're my regular subscriber, please do watch just to support the channel. But if you do skip, I will not hold it against you because you already know this information. But there's a lot of people that don't know this information that are trying to get into the community and trying to get into shooting film like us. So let's get straight to the video. How do you get your pictures that you took on your disposable camera onto your iPhone, onto your Samsung, onto your computer, onto whatever you wanna post it on? Step number one, take care of your disposable. Do not just throw it out there and think that it's not working. Take care of your disposable and make sure the winding mechanism is already finished. So you're gonna be able to just continuously wind, 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 and nothing is going to happen and you're not gonna be able to take another shot. That's how you know it's completely done. So that is the first step. Second step, you need to find a lab to develop your pictures. I'm from Toronto, so I'm gonna tell you guys the lab that I used to get all my pictures developed. Um, if you're in Canada, you could actually send in all your stuff into this place and they would take care of it. They actually take care of a lot of international um, film stuff so like yeah you can totally send it even if you're international from the US if you're from like Netherlands or any random place you can totally submit your pictures into this place and the place that I'm talking about is downtown camera they are my dudes they actually take care of all all of my disposable camera my film stuff everything that I need to get developed from film from developing images they take care of it so what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to put it in a bag and ship it out to them and you're gonna be able to fill out a survey onto their website but for all my US viewers I'm not gonna not take care of you guys because I'm gonna give you guys the most popular place to get your pictures developed in the US and this place is called the dark room lab they actually have a really awesome system to get you started and to actually get your pictures developed and to fill out all your information your email and all that kind of stuff so once you get your package ready you're gonna be asked to fill out a bunch of questions to enter your email and to enter your address and all that kind of stuff for everybody that's gonna be shipping away from wherever they live but if you actually do have a lab like me you're gonna be faced with a paper like this where you're gonna be able to fill out do you want it on a CD do you want it to be scanned do you want it to be printed if you want prints and all that kind of stuff so I want to show you guys how it actually looks um here I actually got C41 that's the actual film that's what it's called you don't need to know that and they asked me do you want scans and the scans would be either JPEG or TIFF you're gonna want to check off the JPEG um, bar and the next question would be, um, do you want it on a CD, USB, or email? Fill out the email, that means they're gonna send you the actual pictures through your email. If you fill out the CD, it's 2019. It's 2019. So, just fill out the email section, and if you want actual prints, like me, and you get this, like these actual hand prints of all the pictures, you need to fill out the prints section. And in the prints section, you'll be asked, do you want your prints matte or glossy? Mine are usually matte with borders. Um, this is if you're submitting to downtown camera. I have not used the, the darkroom lab, but it is actually really, really simple from what I hear to fill out all that stuff online and to get your stuff sent and to also get your returning address with all your prints. It is very, very simple. And after you do that, just wait a couple of weeks or a week, however long they tell you the duration is going to be to process and develop your disposable pictures. And that is literally it. That's all you need to do. You just need to take your camera, ship it to a lab, and the lab is going to process everything and do the chemical stuff to make your pictures appear and they're actually gonna scan the pictures that you're gonna get that's a process you don't need to worry about so that's how you get your pictures onto your Instagram that's how you're gonna get all these awesome pictures posted into your room like 
all over here and stuff. That's how you're gonna get be able to do that. So I really hope that answers your question and I'm so happy I finally got to address this frequently asked question. And with that being said, it's the boy Shingi. Oh, for all my new viewers that do not know what I do, I'm a film photographer. So if you're actually looking into getting a little bit serious with your film photos and to actually get yourself a nice cool SLR old film camera like the Canon AE-1 and become the coolest kid in your whole neighborhood, in your whole city, watch some of my videos. I talk about how to get started into shooting 35 mil and I'm gonna put a video over here on how to load it and how to be absolutely cool and take cool film photos. But uh, with that being said, thank you guys again for watching. It's the boy Shingi. Follow me on Instagram at shotbyshingi and check out my portfolio at shotbyshingi.com. And if you want a shoot film shirt and become a cool kid that shoots film, pretty much I'm talking about my merch. If you want any merch and to support the channel, visit shopwaybetterco.com. And last but not least, if you want some of your film photos, if you have really cool, awesome pictures you want to showcase to a really big community of film photographers that I started to give back to you guys. Follow and hashtag at we photo gods to be featured. If I love the picture, I will definitely feature it and you be tagged and you will get a whole lot of exposure. But with that being said, again, thank you guys for watching. It's the boy Shingi as usual. I hope I got to answer your question and I hope I got to help. Yes, I'm about to go enjoy this cold, Toronto weather. Welcome to Canada. Go